World Health Organization, the population of people in the world will be 9 billion by the year 2050, with the most increase happening in Africa. Unfortunately, at the current rate of plant production, we cannot sustain the population at that rate. Now, oh, of course, <laughs> I'm going to start again. Uh, the population in Africa is increasing at an exponential rate, and because of this, plant production needs to meet the need of the population. As a result of this, we need to increase plant productivity, and by doing this, we would have to have come up with agricultural practices that are sustainable and cost-effective. By sustainable, we would have to make sure that they meet, that they are constant and cost-effective to make sure that they are affordable for farmers. Now, to fix this problem of plant productivity, we would need fertilizers. Now, the problem with fertilizers is that they cause pollution and are expensive. Now, plant needs nutrients. Some plants that are highly nutritive uh, interact with small bacteria called rhizobia. These bacteria send an SOS signal to the bacteria, which in turn, bacteria come back and talk to the plant so that they convert nitrogen from the air to a form that can be used by the plant. In this way, this sort of acts the same way as some companies do by producing whey protein, which can be used by athletes in the gym, as this is a readily usable form of protein. Now, even though a lot of these rhizobia have been identified around the world, not many have been identified in Africa. This is a huge problem as they are not compatible with the soils and the environment in Africa. So my job is to describe and to identify the rhizobia in Africa and to also compare these to the ones already in use in the industry. What I, what my work does, hopefully, will result in an increase in plant production, a increase in food security, and reduce the need for nitrogen-based fertilizers. Essentially, what I'm trying to do is stop starvation. <laughs>